So 14.3 is ordering real numbers. So real numbers are just all the numbers we've dealt with, rational and irrational. This is our last uh, mod or section for module 14. So it says I can order a set of real numbers. So we're just going to be putting numbers in order, but they're going to be all sorts of numbers that we've been dealing with. So the main point, which is already there for you, is that between any two real numbers is another real number. So that's what we talked about where, you know, between one and two is all these decimals, but between one tenth and two tenths is smaller tenths and then, or hundredths. And then between one hundredth and two hundredths, there's a bunch of tiny ones in there. So between every real number is another real number. So to compare and order real numbers, most of the time we have to approximate irrational numbers as decimals so that we can then compare them. So for our first one, we're going to compare the square root of 3 plus 5 to the square root of 5 plus 3. So these are different. So the first thing we need to do is approximate the square root of 3, right? So if I take the square root of 3, that would be between square root of 1 and the square root of 4. So this is 2 away, and this is 1 away. So it's between 1 and 2. And it is going to be about one point something. And remember, it's closer to two, so it's going to be a higher decimal. So that's where we would try, you know, 1.7. So 49. 7 plus 4 is 11. And then 7 and 1. We get 9, 8. Two. That is really, really close. So I'm just going to say, yeah, it's approximately one and seven tenths. So then after we approximate that, we can add five. So we would do, you know, one and seven tenths plus five, and we would get six and seven tenths. Okay, so that's the first half. The second half is doing the square root of five. So square root of five is between the square root of four and the square root of nine. So that's two and three. This is one away. This is four away. So it's really, really close to being five. I mean, sorry, four, which means it's really, really close to being two. So it's gonna be approximately two something. So let's try two and two tenths. So four, 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 and we get four, eight, four. So I got really, really close, so it's approximately two and two tenths. So then I take that and I add it to three. So I'm gonna go two and two tenths plus three, and we get five and two tenths. So then we're gonna compare these circled answers, five and two tenths and six and ten seven tenths, and since six and seven tenths is larger, we would use a greater than symbol. Okay, so that's how we compare our real numbers. So down below, we're going to put our real numbers in order from least to greatest. You'll notice your number line is blank right now. That's so that you, we, it's gonna depend on what we need for these numbers, okay? So because we have two irrational and a rational number, we have to compare them in decimal form because we know we can estimate these two in decimal form and this one we for sure can change to a decimal. Okay, so let's do the easiest one, right? Four and a half as a decimal is four and five tenths. So we're gonna do that one. Um, another easy one is pi plus one. We always estimate it to 3.14 and then we just go plus one. So we get four and 14 hundredths. And then the last one is the square root of 22. We will have to estimate that. So let's put our square root of 22 here. We get the square root of 25, square root of 16. So that's four and five. And then this is our whole number. So it's gonna be about four and something. So from here to here is six. And from here to here is four. So we know it's gonna be a higher Four point something, so four six, four seven, four seven, I mean four eight. Okay, so let's try four and seven tenths. 
So I get 49 and 28 plus four is 32. Should have moved up a little bit higher. I'm kind of out of room. So 28 and then 16, 17, 18. I'm going to add these together. So I would get nine. I'm going to draw a little arrow over here. 10, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, that was super close. So we definitely can say that the square root of 22 is approximately 4 and 7 tenths. So now we have our three answers that we're going to put on the center line, 4 and 14 hundredths, 4 and a half, and 4 and 7 tenths. So that's why we left this blank so you can kind of put what you wanted in there. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of them. So maybe we just start at 4, and then we do 4 and 1 tenth. This would be 4 and 2 tenths, 4 and 3 tenths, and so on. And that one is four and eight tenths. I ran out of room. So four and fourteen hundredths. I'm going to change my color just so we can see them a little clearer. Would go between these. It's pretty close to being four and one tenth, so maybe there. And four and five tenths. And then four and seven tenths. And we just need to make sure we label which each one it is. So this one is pi plus one. This one was four and a half. And this one is the square root of 22. Notice when I put them back on the number line and, and put which one's which, I use the original numbers that were given to me. I didn't write 4 and 14 hundredths, and I didn't write 4 and 5 tenths, and I didn't write 4 and 7 tenths. I used the original numbers when I reordered them. Okay. So the additional practice is still just finding the order from least to greatest and putting them on a number line. So this is where I would say pause and try these on your own and see if you get the same thing I did. Um, and then once you're done, yeah, just check your answer once you're done. So the nice thing is, is on the last page, we already did five, the square root of five, right? We got the square root of five was about two and two tenths. I don't need you to go and do all of that again. Two and five tenths is already done for me. It's at a decimal and the square root of three was approximately one and seven tenths. So what's really nice is for that problem, we had all our work done for us. Okay. So let's go put them on the number line first. So one and seven tenths is about there. And Two and two tenths is about there, and two and a half is here, right? And then I need to make sure I label them. So square root three, square root five, and two and five tenths. And then on this line, they're asking you to put them in order. So square root of three, comma, square root of five, comma, two and a half. Okay, so down below, pi squared is actually 3.14 multiplied with 3.14 and when you did that you should have gotten nine and eight thousand five hundred ninety six ten thousandths right tenths hundredths thousands ten thousands uh tens are done for us so that's really nice and then we need to estimate the square root of 75 so i'm going to do it over here so i'm going to go 75 so this would be, I'm blanking, this one's 64, so this one's 81, there we go. So this is 11 away, and this one is 6 away. Remember, this is 8, this is 9, that's my whole number, so it is approximately 8 and something. Because it's closer to 9, it's going to be 8 something high. So maybe 8, 6, 8, 7, 8.8, 8.9. 8 Let's try 8 and 7 tenths. So 49, uh, 56, so 60, 56, 64, 70, nope, 69. You can count, I promise. And then 9, 6, 
15, 7. Oh, super, super close. So we can definitely say this is about 8 and 7 tenths. So now I have them all. I'm going to change my color again so we can see them better on the number line. So 8 and 7 tenths, about here. That's the square root of 75. I got 9 and basically eight, 85 hundredths. Um, so that's going to go about here. That's pi squared. And then I'm going to put 10 on there. I'm just going to write 10. And then I would put them in order. So the square root 75 pi squared 10. So the thing we really want you to remember is that when you're ordering real numbers, you have to go and approximate the square roots. And any other irrational number is not just the square roots, right? So we can say, and irrational numbers. Because we had pi in there, right? Before we can compare the values. So if it's irrational, you have to find them first. Okay, so here are your two independent practice problems. It's just comparing, okay? Um, no ordering, so just comparing less than, greater than, equal to. All right, until next time.